What is up, YouTube? It's T -T Can Sam, and I'm back with a banger by the title, y'all. I am about to tell y'all how my BLC went week one, which y'all should know. So let's dive straight into the video. All right, y'all. So I went to Fort Bliss. It's in Texas. Fort Bliss. Uh, active duty Army days. The home of the NCO Academy, basically. So this site is a training site. And my class was basically like guinea pigs for future lessons and classes. So if everything went get good this cycle, that's, this is the information that they would disseminate. They'll share with other bases for BLC. All right, y'all, so let me tell y'all, I was so, so, so nervous. So listen, I don't know if I wanna tell y'all the surprise now or later. I'ma probably save it for week three. Cause that's when I found out the good news as far as graduation wise. So y'all, I was so nervous. I didn't think I was ready to come here, but hey, y'all are ready. It's not hard, y'all. Y'all are ready. Y'all about to be the future leaders of the army. Y'all got this. So don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Uh, they're about to treat y'all like sirens. So be prepared to be be treated and called sirens. Sergeants, my fault, y'all. Be, be, be prepared. I like to say sirens because that's how I say it. You feel me? I'm sorry. So and so. Sergeant Toucan. Y'all can call me Sergeant Toucan, big Sarge. All right, y'all. Week one, day zero. Got my handy dandy notes right here. So I'm in a hotel. This is my hotel room, by the way. Army base uh, hotel room. I will give y'all a tour, but I'm kind of packing because this is my last night here. Y'all don't really care, do y'all? Nice little hotel room. All right, day zero. Height and weight was conducted. We did a layout. Y'all bring everything on y'all uh, packing list. If I had a packing list, which I probably do, I'ma like put the picture right here. Bring everything on the packing list. Even though you may not use it, bring it because that is gonna give you points. Um, they used to kick you out if you didn't have one thing on the packing list. But uh, you know, the army is changing. The army is changing, you guys. Um, so we did a layout after hide and wait. A layout, that's when they check everything one by one that's on your packing list and you get a point for every everyone. Um, we did counselings and paperwork. Um, we did a self-assessment on ourselves and um, we met our SGLs. SGLs is small group leader. My SGL, somehow it, it, it don't matter if it's the police academy, if it's military schools, BLC, I get stuck with the strictest instructor y'all. The strictest. And I'm not gonna lie, I loved him. I love him. He was the standard. He held us above the standard, y'all. So that's really good on my part. Um, BLC is back in person, you know. Um, prior to COVID, they was doing it on the computer, doing COVID and stuff like that. But you, when you come here, you're gonna get um, the real deal experience. And it's better, you know, be hands on. So next, we picked our class leader and our timekeeper, y'all. So if y'all want to impress y'all little sergeants and get a little leadership position, which will help in the future, know y'all NCO Creed, y'all. Know y'all NCO Creed. I'm going to give y'all a little secret. Each paragraph starts with the letters NCO. First paragraph, no one is more professional than I. Second paragraph, competence is my watchword. Third paragraph, Officers in my unit. So NCO, that's an easy way to um, help you remember it. So day zero first was on the Thursday. Friday was day one for real. So we had a um, BLC overview. Um, the system we use is called Blackboard, y'all. That's how y'all gonna get y'all assignments, submit y'all assignments, check y'all GPA, check your grades, Blackboard. Um, so day one, we did group dynamics. And my SGL, it was kind of fun. You know, that's when we got to know each other, group dynamics. And he um, made it interesting. Saturday, day two. Yes, we have classes on Saturday. We have classes on Saturday. We have classes on Saturday. But it be a half a day on Saturday, so chill out. Chill out. You can enjoy yourself a little bit. But let me tell y'all, this is not vacation, Sarns. That's the words of 
Sorry that Mazzano on my SGL, y'all. Hey, if you manage your time wisely, this can be a little break from work, but this is, this is cool, y'all. Day two, we had classes. T assessment was issued and drilling ceremony. So it's PRT. We, he gave us um, the rubrics for that and the commands for drilling ceremony, as well as the PT assessment. Um, the entire reco recovery drill, PRT, uh, one, two, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. Certain stuff, I forget it as soon as I take the test, but like, I, I know some acronyms, but it was one, two, three, four, five. It was like six groups of exercise that we had to memorize, including the drill, the drill and ceremony, which it was real easy to me, y'all. I day number three, which is really day number four, including day zero. So day number, I said three, but it's day four. But day three, Monday, we um went over EO, EO culture competencies and drill and ceremony practice. Day four, which is really day five. Anyway, Tuesday, we had more classes, y'all. Wednesday, day five, PT prep, the drill assessment. So like, y'all, it's back to back. Like I just told y'all, we got the rubrics in the DLC, DNC and PRT assessment. We got them two days before. Next two days, two days went by, doom, doom, we knocking it out. We did the drilling ceremony and uh, the PRT. We conducted the PRT. And y'all, right when you thought like, dang, I'm so glad, you know, that's done. I memorized it, me and my partner, we got it down pat. Were you good? Nope, wrong, more stress. You got to sharp essay assignment and when that was due. So if you're watching this video right now, y'all, um, y'all can look up people's sharp essays. Do not plagiarize, but you you can get an idea of from reading other people's sharp essays and um also just looking up the history of sharp and some articles involving sharp in the army. So that's y'all sharp essay. Y'all got that right after y'all finish DNC and PRT. Thursday, day six, written communications topics issues, y'all. So the day before, you just got your sharp essay. The next one, you got your informative essay. And with that informative essay, right after that, boo doo 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 it's a presentation to go with that, y'all. So it's going to be stressful. Definitely if you've never been to college, you're going to struggle with army writing. Army writing is kind of similar, but like it's army writing. No more than like 30 words in a sentence. Soldiers, army, got to be capitalized at all times. Stuff like that. Stuff like that, y'all. So um, I think that wrapped up. Week number one, we got day zero, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. All right, that's a seven day right that week. So if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, y'all. I put some hidden gems in there. I gave y'all some information, informative essay, sharp essay, um, drill and ceremony, learn how to march up squad. Y'all got videos. Look at these YouTube videos. It's here to help. I'm here to help. Get this video a thumbs up. Share this video, y'all. Y'all got people in y'all units that's gonna come to BLC. This is gonna help them. This is gonna get them prepared, y'all. Smash, smash that like button. Most of all, subscribe to your girl.